So I'm going to touch on a little bit of what we've been saying here before, and I think it's really important to emphasize some points um, and bring a little bit of my perspective, which is more on the national level. Um, so as the sister mentioned, uh, I'm a reporter at the Huffington Post, um, and there I play two roles. I do cover the world, um, and I also spearhead all our Muslim coverage um, at the company based in the US. Um, and as the only hijab Muslim journalist there, um, it's been a challenge. And so we, as a Muslim community, yes, we are talking about the so-called era of alternate facts. So what does this mean? That lies are be taking as truth, right? That propaganda is, as, is at an all-time high. And the Muslim community is no way unaffected by this. But at the same time, it's important to take into perspective that this isn't new, that we've gone through this before. Right? Most of us were probably pretty young during the times post 9-11. But if you ask our parents and your grandparents and the people who immigrated here first, they've gone through this before. And so we have key experience within our own community that's underutilized for us to tap into because we're always looking outward. What can the media say about us? How, how do we reach those people? And there are a couple of ways for me being a journalist in the media that I want to kind of present here today to talk about how we can tackle these things. Because when we think about the outside, the overall coverage of Muslims, I think many of us can agree that it's, it's pretty negative, right? Can we say it's positive? Sometimes. Sometimes, but overwhelmingly, we say it's negative. So there's kind of like a twofold. And the first fold is kind of scripted. A terrorist attack happens in a location. Muslims everywhere are holding their breath. We hope it's not Muslim. The crazy psycho tends, says that he's Muslim or he's Muslim inspired or whatever the case may be. Muslims everywhere start condemning the attacks and like, no, look, look how great we are. We're not terrorists. We're not terrible people. And then the news cycle goes wall to wall coverage talking about Sharia and Jihad and Hijab and dissecting the Muslim faith without actually talking to a Muslim. Mm -hmm. That's like phase number one. And then phase two of the Muslim coverage is this new phase that we're even starting seeing with the past year or so, is this, wow, look at this Muslim person doing something completely normal. <laughs> and honestly, it's more so found with our Muslim sisters and the brothers, especially so the Muslim sisters who wear hijab. There are these headlines of, look at the first Muslim women hijabi journalist. Look at the first Muslim women hijabi chef. Right? There's this, this race for the mus first Muslim woman doing something. Or my personal favorite, sarcasm here, the Muslim women breaking barriers. Seriously? What barriers? What barriers do we as Muslim actually have? That is an Orientalist view that we have on us and that people want to put on us. And we take it as an accomplishment, but it's not. Because what is the underlining tone? That Muslim women have barriers. And so when you come out and say, look at this amazing Muslim woman who's able to do this, it gives off the sense that we were never able to do it. And if we look at our deen, that was never the case. When we look at Khadija, aside from being the wife of the Prophet, and she was a merchant. When we look at Sittina Aisha, who was filled with scholars, and she absorbed knowledge and passed on that knowledge. Nusayba, the first female warrior in Islam. So what barriers are we talking about? So we shouldn't accept this false sense of accomplishment. And I know we kind of take any representation as good representation, but that's not the case. We are a community of 1.6 billion people. We are so diverse. There is richness to our community. We are black, we are Arab, we are Desi, we are Latino, we are converts. There's just so much to us. And just picking one or two sides between Muslims condemning terrorism and a Muslim doing something normal and that's great isn't enough. Uh -huh. And it's something that we shouldn't accept for ourselves. And inshallah, I really hope to go on to different ways as how we can break those that box that we're in in the media. Because when we break that box and we have a genuine reflection of what our community is, that's when we'll be able to tackle this alternative facts and that's when the true values of Islam and Muslims will really represent itself.